The weather hasn't been cold here in England. It rained a little, but it's still quite warm. Despite this, I was under the weather with a mild cold that required a cozy, creamy, Italian-inspired pumpkin soup. This soup calls for real pumpkin, and I used two varieties that are slightly different. One is bright and dense, the other a little dull and more watery. I started by halving the pumpkin, scooping out any seeds and guts. This gorgeous pumpkin soup has such delicate flavours. Because I want to roast the pumpkin for that amazing pumpkin-y flavour, I coat their insides with olive oil, I turn them upside down on a parchment lined tray and bake at 200 degrees C or 400 Fahrenheit for 30 to 45 minutes. While the pumpkins are baking, I want to crisp up a few strips of streaky bacon. Yes, I'm still using my barbecue and I promise you I will be using it even if it's snowing. You watch me. Before you know it, the pumpkin will be nice and soft and a little caramelized in places. Let it cool down while you chop an onion and saute it gently in a little olive oil with some minced garlic. Now you want to throw everything in the soup maker. By the way, you don't need to sweep the pumpkin flesh. Just peel the skin, it will come right off. Add one and a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of olive oil, squeeze the juice of one lemon and add water or vegetable stock. Blend the soup until smooth. You might find that you need to add extra water here, if it's too thick. And then I like to pick some tender rosemary sprigs. If you are using an immersion blender to make this on the stove top, it should cook in approximately 10 minutes. I set the soup maker to cook the soup for 15 to 20 minutes. Remember that crispy bacon from the grill? I like to crumble it or chop it, that texture and flavour will be so good. Look at that beautiful bright colour, it promises creamy, cosy, delicious bliss. Divide the soup between bowls and add freshly grated parmesan. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Would you give it a thumbs up and subscribe? Top with the crispy bacon and give it a good crack of black pepper. If you fancy, you can drizzle some more olive oil and garnish with extra rosemary. I like to serve it with a slice of toast, it's so yummy. And if you're looking for more soup maker recipes, watch this video next.